Cachaça is a wonderfully complex spirit and there's so many more cocktails that you can make with it than just a caipirinha. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a cocktail called the Regal Amburana that uses aged cachaça and a grapefruit. I love cachaça. I've made countless videos on this channel talking about what cachaça is, why it's so complex, my favorite brands, so many cocktail recipes that use cachaça. Um, and as a Brazilian bartender, I feel very, very connected to this spirit. And it's something that I focus very heavily on at my own bar. Um, so I'm always trying to show you guys more and more uses for this amazing spirit, especially when the cocktail calls for aged cachaça. If you've watched my video on cachaça, the most complex spirit on the planet, you'll know that cachaça can be aged in 28 different kinds of indigenous wood. And with that, it creates this giant variety of different flavors, styles of cachaça, and, and there are so many possibilities for its use in cocktail making. And this cocktail, the Regal Amburana, it really showcases how you can do that with an Amburana aged cachaça. This cocktail actually comes from my one of my most recent favorite cocktail books uh, regarding cocktails by Sasha Petrosky. I've been doing quite a few different cocktails on my channel from this book, uh, but this is one that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Um, Sasha was the owner of Milk and Honey in New York City and is often considered one of the most influential bartenders and people in this industry of ours. Um, People that have worked for him that have gone on to really change the industry as well. Think of Sam Ross or Richie Bacato or two guys that I can think of that, you know, Sam Ross invented the paper plane, one of my favorite cocktails and is one of the owners of Attaboy in New York, another massive giant bar. And so all of the recipes in this book are incredible, at least the ones that I've tried so far. Um, so let's see if we can keep the streak going. But if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Louie. On this channel, I post cocktail recipes, I talk about my favorite spirits, I teach you how to make better drinks and cocktails, and I talk about what it's like to own my own restaurant and bar. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, come on over here, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that little bell icon to never miss out on any of the videos that I post. All right, let's get back to this amazing cocktail, the Regal Amburana. So one of my favorite things about regarding cocktails is that the focus isn't about making the most complex cocktails. Almost all of the cocktails in that book are really about understanding what makes each ingredient special and how you can uh, really combine them in a cocktail. It's more about how expertly can you craft the cocktail and not how many ingredients can you put into something until it tastes good. This cocktail is interesting because we are going to be doing something uh, that makes it regal. Uh, making a cocktail regal means instead of using bitters or a different almost seasoning kind of agent in the cocktail, we're going to actually be using a grapefruit peel and shake that in the cocktail shaker. That's actually going to play a very similar role that bitters would do, but in a more natural way. Um, the skin of citrus fruits are full of oils and flavor. Uh, that's why we express the oils over cocktails when we make a peel of any citrus fruit. That's why I'm really excited to give this cocktail a shot. But that explains where the name comes from and also what a regal is. So let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do is grab our uh, little shaker. We are going to do one large peel, nice and thick, two C's. And then we are going to just drop that big grapefruit peel into our shaker. It calls for two ounces of Amburana aged cachaça. I am using Novo Fogus Colibri, which is actually aged for one year in oak and one year in Amburana. You could definitely use just a regular Amburana aged cachaça. I just really like the Colibri, so that's what I'm gonna use. And so two ounces of our aged cachaça. In regarding cocktails, it calls for seven eighths of freshly squeezed lime juice. Um, that's kind of an interesting uh, measurement. I don't, my jiggers don't measure that. So we're going to do three quarters, which would be six eighths. Three quarters of an ounce of uh, freshly squeezed lime juice. And it also calls for three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. And so three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. And then we're going to, then we're gonna fill up our cocktail shaker with ice all the way to the top and lock this bad boy and shake it. Oh, 
pop this open, grab our chilled coop, and we're going to double strain. I've never actually made a Regal cocktail, I'll be honest with you, so I'm actually really excited to see how that affected the flavors. And then last but not least, we are going to do a lime wedge as a garnish right on the end. Now let's look at it. It's a really nice looking color. Pale, yellow, almost orangey in a way. Kind of reminds me of the color of the grapefruit a little bit. Uh, let's just give it a smell first. Ooh. Ooh, that smells very funky and interesting. I like it. Oh, wow. Hello. Whoa, that is so, that's amazing. That's incredible. Holy sh God damn. Um, all right, sorry, let me gather my thoughts here to tell you about this. Uh, I love this cocktail, this is amazing. Uh, you get this really uh, interesting funkiness from the aged Amburana uh, cachaça. You get that crispness and uh, citrusy flavor from the lime juice. The honey syrup really combines well, as, as we know, lime and honey go really well together. And then you really do get the bitterness from the grapefruit peel. It's almost like on the back of your tongue. It's like one of the last things that you taste as you're drinking this. And it makes for a very funky, tropical cocktail. It's it's wildly complex with all the different flavors from the wood and the bitterness is just the right amount too it's not overly bitter it's just like just like a little like a little like a little thing of, of bitterness to it it's it's really good um, yeah that's that's tasty that's real tasty wow yeah well, but there you have it, the Regal Amburana. If you enjoyed this episode, it mean the absolute world to me if you can come on over here and hit that like button. Also, leave your comments down below. Uh, I'm really trying to grow this channel. I do have a full-time job. I run a restaurant while I make these videos, and it's very time-consuming. So if you want me to keep making these videos, help me out. Just hit that like button and leave a comment down below. I really, really appreciate it. I post, I try to post two videos a week on YouTube, and that's a lot. I'll be honest with you, it takes a lot of editing hours, and it's just, it's really difficult. But I'm not sitting here complaining. I'm not trying to do this whole woe is me thing. I'm just saying, if you enjoy this, let me know. But that's enough for me, guys. I'm gonna get back to this amazing cocktail and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.